Grand Rising, Grand Rising, everybody. A good morning to whoever likes to say that. I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage, here to bring you a message. It's currently 9.21 a.m. on September 23rd, 2024. Happy birthday, Libras. We are now in justice season. Balance season, justice season. It's currently 54 degrees Fahrenheit and sunny outside. I'm super excited about fall weather. I feel like uh, we, we are, we're in the fall equinox here. So what happens during the fall equinox? Somebody tell me real quick. Let's look it up. But thank you for joining me. I'd like to praise the Most High for giving me the breath of life this morning, for giving me another opportunity to come back into this simulation. Um, and Mario, the God of it. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is the fall equinox? Okay. Let's see. Excuse me. I got a little bit of the sniffles. I just got done eating something with sriracha on it. So we're going to play it. Okay. I think I got the speaker. But thank you, Most High God. Thank you for bringing us here together today, buddy. All right, let's see what they have to say. The fall equinox, also known as the autumnal equinox, marks the beginning of autumn. This year, it occurs on Sunday, September 22nd, 2024, at 8.44 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time in the Northern Hemisphere. During the equinox, the sun crosses the celestial equator, making day and night nearly equal in length. This balance of light and dark symbolizes a time of reflection and preparation for the colder months ahead. It's a moment when nature slows down and we often feel a shift within ourselves, aligning with the changing season. Is there a particular aspect of the fall equinox that interests you? That is from uh, Copilot, okay? All right, so yeah, we, we did, that was yesterday. So we, we successfully uh, crossed over into the fall equinox, apparently. Okay, but happy birthday, Libras. If you got Libra in your chart, happy birthday, or okay. Um, I got I got a couple of Libra placements, I believe so, but Libra is about balance, okay? Uh, bringing things into balance, it also talks about law, justice, which takes me to the dream that I had this morning. I'm still getting up early in the morning, like at the wee hours of the morning. I have no idea what that's about. I, I believe that a lot of times when we are awakened, um, you know, that spirit communicating things to us, or it could be something diet related, it could be stress related, it could be a lot of things related, but I had a lot of dreams. I've been having a lot of dreams lately, okay? At 8.44, by the way, that too, hmm, and that was the time. Okay, that breaks down to a whole seven. <clears throat> 8.44, eight plus eight is 16, breaks down to a seven, which talks about spiritual enlightenment, A. Hey. All right. Um, but the dream I had, I'm just going to make it very quick here. I did record a video earlier um, and I did pull some cards on it. It was kind of weird. So I'm just going to tell you what it was about. But so I had this dream that a friend of mine, an uh, old friend of mine, somebody I used to be very tight with back in the day, uh, we were at a hotel, obviously. I, well, not obviously because you weren't there, but we were at some type of room. In a room, I assume it was a hotel, but there were two beds in there. I was in one bed and she was in another bed with a judge. OK. Um, she's also a lesbian, too. So, I mean, sleep with who you're going to sleep with. But it's just kind of weird that they were in the bed together. Now, this this judge was an older white gentleman um, with glasses, uh, you know, silver and gray hair, not full head of hair, but just kind of like silver hair, you know, like an older judge. Um, and he had on his robe every, you know, it was all decked out. Um, and so. I heard like a, some scuffling and I look over and he's like abusing her. So I immediately jumped from one bed to the other bed. Now this is what was weird is that, you know, in hotel rooms, beds are usually, uh, you know, not against the wall. So there's usually like, you know, you can step out on either side, but this bed was pushed all the way into the corner. So I jump over there and I grab him and I choke him and I say, don't you ever do that shit again. Okay. I will beat the, and I'm like, like, nah, do it again. And he's and I, I can't remember if I if I, I said apologize to her now. And she kind of laughed, which was like it was weird. And so he like sits up and he goes, I apologize. I apologize in front of everybody. Is that what it takes? I'm sorry. And then I woke up. So immediately, uh, you know, uh, I took from the dream, uh, you know, I, I, I thought about maybe going the route of, <laughs> I, 
I thought about going the route that people generally go. So, like, you know, if somebody reads cards and then they go, they read exactly what's on the card. We all know that there's always a deeper meaning here. So the first initial kind of uh, basic thought was, okay, so I could have come on here and said, a judge is going to be apologizing to the world for domestic violence or abuse, which could very well be the case. But I just, I actually just got another download. Okay, so the meaning, what well, the meaning behind it. So, so being in the bed with a judge, an abusive judge, a judge abusing their power as a judge, right? That's what this is about. Um, so just kind of, uh, just kind of just so I, f I feel like I feel like the judge represents now this could be I, I feel like this is about a specific judge though I feel like there is going to be a judge that during this season prop quite possibly you know uh, but you know being that I had had a dream about a judge we're stepping into Libra season this could really just be about justice in general but a very particular type and uh, uh, like the the archetype of, of what we know in the justice system so it could be uh, somebody, uh, you know, like a Caucasian male uh, that's going to be apologizing for abusing their power. Now, the fact that somebody was in the bed with that judge also suggests the fact that there's there's some re in the bed. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? Somebody has some dealings with the justice system that are uh, taboo. Uh, so in, in when I pulled the cards for it earlier and it just got kind of messy and I was like, could I just scrap it and just tell you guys? Now, this was the weird thing. Imagine, imagine that somebody bribes a judge to have some type of legal case go in their favor. The judge accepts the offer and the rules in the person's favor, bam, everything's fine, right? But then the person that bribed them then goes and extorts this judge and says, well, you did this for us and we'll tell unless you pay us. It's kind of, so they kind of like, is that the overlay for the underplay? I don't know. It seems like it though. That's I, I have a hard time understanding what the that means. The underlay for the overplay, or the overlay for the underplay. I don't know. It's very confusing to me. I just always kind of thought. I just always liken that to like somebody being a pimp or a hoe. Isn't that like a something that that's an over and under? <laughs> that's an over and under, Dwayne. Okay. I got you. So two different things here. But you could do like an overlay for underplay for over and under in a car, right? Does it over, does it, uh, does it over and under have to, an over and over, what is it? Over and under, an overlay for underplay and what I just, by, whatever my higher self said, just don't even worry about it, okay? An over and under. Okay, whatever. It's kind of like the Dirty Sanchez, which I'll, which I'll never be able to get out of my mind, okay? But anyway, I pick what I, what I I think it was just an overall kind of message to let people know that there there's going to be some apologies here from the justice system for some people uh, because of their relationships that they've had with you know relatives or ex people people ex parte yo ass okay I really do feel I feel like that's what that that's what the the overall message from that dream was is that uh, some there's going to be some people in the justice system confirmation apologizing publicly okay. Uh, for but 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 not because but not because they feel bad, but because somebody got on their neck, like I got on that judge's neck in that dream. So they, it's kind of like they're going to be forced to apologize after getting caught doing something abusive with their power. It's what I heard. Okay. So let's try this again here. Archangel Michael, please clear out the energy for this reading, so I give a clear and concise message to the collective. I like to ask that all evil eyes go blind and all your hustling demons go deaf. I'd also like to uh, just, you know, tell my, you know, thank my ancestors, my beloved ancestors of the highest white divine light for uh, guiding me, for protecting me, for trusting me to uh, be a vessel to deliver messages for the collective. I'd like to thank anybody who's made any type of financial contributions to my channel, whether that's through PayPal, Cash App, Super Chat, or Super Thanks. And I'll, I really I really like to stress that because nobody has to do anything, especially when it comes to finances, especially with the way money is for a lot of people these days. So I appreciate, I don't give a look if it's a dollar. I'm not saying give that, I'm not asking for that, but I'm saying I don't care how big or how small. A dollar to some part, a dollar to one person could seem like five hundred dollars. You feel me? But when people show their appreciation by coming out of their pockets, I, I definitely, I'm very grateful for that. It helps. It does help me. 
Um, it helps me, you know, get things from my channel, and it, uh, it, 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 and it shows, you know, tip the tip the reader, kind of tip the messenger. I appreciate that, and I hope that comes back to anybody ten thousand times fold who's ever donated, who's who's donated to my channel, okay, or purchased any of my products as well. Which you can click the link for that below, okay. There's two of them that came out, so we'll read those. Um, I'd also like to thank anybody that's made any type of spiritual donations, whether you're liking the video, sharing the content, commenting in the comment section or in the chat section. Um, that's greatly appreciated as well. Thank you, Soul Family. I'm very, very grateful. What's up, baby? I love you. All right. I love you too, Soul Family. Okay. Let's get on with this. So, uh, so I, I feel like that's what we're all going to be seeing. I don't know if the, I don't know if that's going to come out in the reading, but that was the message. So we got two Sun Tzu cards out here. First one, Sun Tzu said, "If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not know. You need not fear the result of a hundred battles. If you know yourself, but not the enemy, for every victory gain, you will also suffer suffer a defeat. Damn. If you know neither the enemy nor yourself, you will succumb in every battle." That's facts, okay? Know yourself, know your partner. Self-awareness is an essential part of a happy life. Without it, your choices of life partner, for example, will be based solely on your instinct or gut feeling. Examine your thoughts, beliefs, and feelings to help you understand your strengths and weaknesses, which will help you understand other people's. With greater understanding comes better communication and a great chance for your relationship to thrive. I agree with all that i think i think we all know that i think it's you know especially when you're going through spiritual warfare because that's what we pull these cards for spiritual warfare is very that's what that's what that's what crossed my mind yesterday spiritual warfare is very is is is, is very difficult because a lot of the attacks that you get are not that you don't see and a lot of times you don't even know who is attacking you so we spend a lot of time under attack trying to recover from attack but then we're confirmation but then we're also trying to figure out well who the, is doing this who is attacking us why are they attacking us we get our brains become consumed and we become so consumed and distracted with the who and the why that we that that we neglect to just figure out how to protect ourselves and the main the the, the main way I, damn thank you for the download okay i got god bumps The best way to I'm hearing the best way to protect yourself with spiritual attacks is to become self-aware. Why do you ask? Well, because when we're under spiritual attack, what does the enemy use to attack us? Our weaknesses, our fears, who we are, our actions, what we believe, what our faith looks like. And if you're not self-aware, if you're not aware of who the fuck you are, okay? Then you're not. You're, then you don't. Then you're not sure how to eliminate the the uh, vulnerabilities that the enemy uses against you. So becoming self-aware is very significant. Also, you should be self-aware and know yourself. At least know yourself, because <clears throat> from my experience, uh, well, everything is karmic. You know, we we learn lessons, so everybody has to go through certain things. But not to repeat the pattern. You get to know yourself because nine times out of ten, if you don't know yourself then you're damn sure not going to know who you're sleeping next to. And generally, what do we find out? If you don't know yourself and you don't know who you're sleeping next to, you're sleeping next to the enemy. Okay? Sun Tzu said, The art of war teaches us to rely not on the likelihood of the enemy's not coming, but on our readiness to receive him. Not on the chance of, of his not attacking, but rather on the fact that we have made our position unassailable. Let's look up the word unassailable. All right, so I, I I did mention this in the video that I scrapped, but you know I kind of I don't know I'm just gonna say this real quick. Some people might get annoyed by the fact that I look things up, uh, and I'm gonna say I don't really care. The fact of the matter is that uh, I it dawned on me the other day, self awareness, okay, that I use a lot of words that I know where I know where to use them, how to use them, and somewhat of what they mean, but. Do I really know the definition to a lot of words that I use or that I read? No, I don't. The fact of the fact is the matter is that we all know how to read or write, or the majority of us do. And if you and if and if you do not know how to read or write, or not, do not know how to read or write all that well, just know that you can. Okay, that's not even a dig. That's you can. You can learn how to read better. You can learn how to read. It's very beneficial. Okay, 
but you know, I was like, well, I don't even know what some of these words mean sometimes. And I think it's, you know, I think it's very beneficial to, to know what word you're using. Uh, I would definitely, you know, I guess we all have access to dictionaries. Um, that's when books come in instead of just looking stuff up online because we all can have access to a dictionary to read the whole dictionary. I don't know. If I, I mean, I guess what else, what else, what else do I have to do in my spare time? Uh, but, you know, either taking a class or, be, you know, reading a dictionary. Is there a dictionary class or something in etymology or something like that? But I like to look stuff up so that I know exactly what they mean because, you know, I just feel like that's necessary. Unassailable is an adjective that means unable to attack, to be attacked, questioned or defeated. It describes something or someone is in such a strong position that they cannot be challenged or overcome. For example, you might say the fortress was unassailable or her argument was unassailable, unable to attack, question or defeat it. Unassailable. That sounds like a nice tattoo. OK, and a good conversation piece. What does that mean? That tattoo on your chest? It means I can't be defeated. There's no way you can attack me. May the force be with you. You feel me? Develop your self-confidence. Self-confidence is an individual's trust in his or her own abilities, capabilities, and judgments. When you are feeling better about your capabilities, the more energized and motivated you are to take action and achieve your goals. If you lack confidence in yourself, others can detect it. You won't reach your full potential or inspire others. We agree. Okay? 1631 on the clock, 9.38 a.m. Let's, uh, let's get into some tarot here. I'd like to pull from a state card here first. So let's see what we got coming out here, okay? <clears throat> we got Angel Whispers card out here too as well, huh? I should probably get one of those. We got Louisiana here. Baton Rouge, the Pelican State. So yeah, confirmation. You are a special person. You do make the difference. Why, thank you, spirit, and so do you. That, that was for all of us, okay? <clears throat> Even if you're a scab or a narmic or a skarmic, it was for you as well, okay? We got Louisiana here, okay? So something about Louisiana, okay? Get the overall energy for this reading, okay? General collective energy here. General collective energy for Louisiana. General collective energy for Louisiana. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords in the reverse here. So, let's see. The Five of Pentacles here. Yikes. To the Magician. So, Gemini Virgo energy. Strengthen the reverse as well. Leo energy. Okay. So let's see what happened here. The Two of Cups talks about partnership or relationships. So, so you know, like a soulmate energy. But somebody in Louisiana is, is either a magician or a magic, a, a magi like a practitioner. The magician is a practitioner, of course. 
as above, so below, though. As above, so below. <clears throat> One more. Three of cups at the bottom of the deck now, too. Two of cups in the... There's a... Uh, so there's a Virgo here. Negative Virgo energy. It's kind of like somebody spiritually bankrupt. Or a magician in Louisiana, a practitioner in Louisiana is going broke over some... over Because they agreed to do something with the, with the, with the Virgo here. That could be it as well. But, I mean, if you're going broke down here, then nine times out of ten, there's something going on spiritually. As above, so below. The five of cup, the five of pentacles also talks about, talks about being left out of something. Okay. It also talks about illness as well. But whatever this magician, this practitioner had some agreement with. Uh, it's in the reverse, so they, the the agreement could have been broken, or this could just talk about a very bad negative agreement, like a bad contract. Okay, with the with the Virgo here, a negative Virgo. Tell me about what this is about, okay? <laughs> we got the Knight of Cups here. To the chariot, to the six of pentacles, or the nine of pentacles. It's the nine or the six. I can never tell with these cards. It's the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles, okay? It was in the reverse too. Nine of pentacles in the reverse to the chariot. Okay, one more. To the four of cups. In the reverse. Somebody needs some help. Eight of cups in the reverse as well. star mm. somebody went and got <clears throat> not a ones to the star this is about an offer this is about an offer. This is some a Virgo, a Virgo, okay? This is about an offer. Somebody didn't want to be left out of something here. Somebody wanted to make sure that they received an offer, okay? Somebody wanted to make sure that they received an offer. So they got with the practitioner. They made an agreement with the practitioner. This Virgo did, or this practitioner could be a Virgo. Okay. This this offer, the Knight of Cups in the reverse, talks about uh, a false love offer. So uh, just like a somebody that's very phony. Okay. Somebody very phony. 
Knight of Cups is very funny here. Somebody needed some help here uh, with the chariot here. The chariot talks about achievement, victory. It, it can talk about being victorious. <clears throat> or this Knight of Cups could be a cancer. It would make sense, water sign energy. So we could be talking about a cancer or somebody that has cancer in their chart. They needed some help. They didn't. They, they were about to be, or they have been, uh, left out of an offer. Or they wanted to make sure that they weren't left out of something here. We got the star to the Knight of Wands here, under, under the Knight of Cups here. Three of Cups. With the Hangman here. So we got, we got a Cancer, a Hermit, a Virgo, and a, and a Pisces with three of cups here. That's the second time the three of cups has come out. That was at the bottom of the deck. And then now we have it coming out. We got a Cancer, Aquarius, and Pisces. Let's see. Pisces may not even be significant. The hangman talks about sacrifices. Oh, there goes the truth. The Ace of Swords here. What's the Four of Cups? Thank you. The world in the reverse. They didn't want some cycle to come to an end. What cycle? <clears throat> the Three of Pentacles, a work situation, a collaboration. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, going broke. So we got, we got a, okay, let's just say we got a, we got three people, three energies here, a, a Cancer, an Aquarius, and a Pisces that made an agreement with a magician to secure a spot. This is, this is about work, a, a, a nice, a nice, uh, opportunity as well it's it's like they because we got this three of cups. These are friends and, and co-workers, it looks like, as well. A practitioner did some work on these people's behalf. I'm trying to figure out here. Okay, the chariot talks about achievement. Uh, I keep hearing victory, but it also talks about because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm what I'm hearing is that they're trying like trying to cut something off at the pass, like beating somebody to the punch to receive an offer. An Aquarius and a Pisces. These people are co-workers here. All right. They like they and they like to. So with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Wands energy, they are uh, two energies that are very uh, immature, very like cads. They're like cads. <laughs> That's an old word. These are like playboys. 
you know, uh, Knight of Wands are very, they're very non-committal. So, and with the with the Three of Cups out here, these they maybe like to go out to clubs a lot, like to have parties, like to have a lot of sex. Very kind of charming and charismatic figures, but very phony here with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups to the Chariot, that's what kind of got them this far, okay? But now they need some type of help here. I'm trying to stop saying here so much, so bear with me. Because they're, there's some type of loss. Tell me about this loss. So it's basically, it's basically like, you know, the saying where uh, uh, beauty fades, dumb is forever. It's kind of like that. The Knight of Cups is also someone very charming. The lovers. A choice was made. The lovers talks about choices. Okay. A choice. There was a choice that was made here. Tell me about the choice. The lovers here. Sorry. Ten of Pentacles. Yikes! In the reverse. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. I keep saying it. I don't know why I'm saying that now. This could talk about uh, contracts, signing documents, an agreement. Uh, this is about this agreement here. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Swords. They got caught doing something. They got caught doing something. Uh, the Page of Swords, as you can see, this is somebody signing a contract or looking over contracts. Signing because he got that feather. He got the quill pen. An offer was rescinded because these two. Oh, wow. There goes the devil. They got caught in some devil energy. Toxicity here. Greed. Clarify. The three of swords. They lied about something, a betrayal. Five of Wands in the reverse. So there might have been some type of uh, competition. Five of Wands in the reverse, you know, that, that losing a competition. Uh, can't compete where they don't compare. So let's just say like... Uh, This is about a, this is about images and appearances. It is. It's about images and appearances. What am I hearing? You got two people here, two people that work together. They're also friends as well. A group Two business partners, well, they work together, so they would be considered co-workers or colleagues. This talks about being in the running for something with the knight of, with the five of wands. They got caught their 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 devilish ways got them caught up. Something about drugs and drinking. It's something like that. This goes back to the card, being self-aware. So they so let's so let's let's take it back there. Okay? You have um you're in a competition with somebody <clears throat> and you're focused way too much this was a big opportunity too to work with to work with somebody uh maybe something across the you know across the world or on the internet 
a lot of this could talk about traveling some type of maybe this is like a travel I just heard like travel blogging travel vlogging going to different places these 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 two people or three people could it be could be three people I don't know I'm picking up I'm what am I here I'm hearing that okay so this was this could be something for like a, a where people travel for work but I heard like travel vlogging everything is on the internet so you know everything is everything for the most part is visual everything is visual we live in such a visual place now people were much smarter when we didn't where everything wasn't so accessible on the internet because everybody had to read books or read magazines or read media or create things by hand. Confirmation. I found it up for that one. What is that? Hold on, guys. Okay. Okay. Sorry about that, you guys. Something, something where people would travel for work. Let's just say that. I'm still kind of confused about this Five of Pentacles to the Magician. The Emperor in the Reverse. Clarify. There's a lot of people out here. A lot of a lot of people. A lot of signs, significant like major arcana signs. So there's a, there's a, this a, this could this could have been a group of people. Hey, King of Pentacles. So we got <laughs> we got a, an emperor in the reverse here to the King of Pentacles. So this emperor. Let's see. Clarify the. Uh, because the emperor in the reverse to the king of pentacles, this talks about, uh, I don't, I, you know, I don't, whoever, so this is, this could be their boss. Okay. This could really just mean that they spent a lot of money behind the scenes here, paying for magic, like magic broke them. Okay, there was a practitioner though, and there's Louisiana make would make not to be not to be stereotypical, but Louisiana would make a lot of sense. So it's like somebody <clears throat> paid for a practitioner, or a lot, a, a spent a, a went broke paying for practitioners to secure a contract that they didn't get. That's what this is about. The Hermit in the Reverse talks about not somebody not being self aware. The Two of Cups talks about not being in partnership with self. I feel like these, there's a lot of duality in these cards that I'm looking at. I feel like with the Hermit in the reverse, this is, that's, this is what came out. The Hermit in the reverse coming out. That's two of, the Two of Cups in the reverse. The cancellation of a contract. I feel like this came out to this emperor energy about what these people were doing to secure confirmation to secure this job. They, they were manipulating. They were using witchcraft, uh, paying for witchcraft to secure a spot. Like I said. Yeah, they lied. I told you. Queen of Swords in the reverse to the King of Pentacles, to the, the emperor, to the King of Pentacles. Whoever this emperor is, is, is rich. <laughs> okay? It's somebody very very wealthy they lied to this emperor I don't know why this emperor is in the reverse though that makes me I mean, it, could, it could really just mean that because this person is not their boss anymore I mean the emperor in the reverse I mean, that, that talks about somebody, generally speaking, that's somebody that's very uh, uh, abusive with their power. I mean, this boss could be very abusive with their power, okay? 
I mean, it is what it is. Clarify the emperor in the reverse. To the to King of Pentacles again, please. Thank you, Spirit. The Three of Swords. This is not somebody that you want to backstab. I feel like the emperor is probably now in the reverse because this person was betrayed by these people. The Three of Swords here. Okay. They were doing magic over this emperor to secure a position, to secure a spot. Yeah. <sighs> Strength talks about the power of this betrayal. This is a very strong betrayal to this emperor. I mean, the witchcraft that they were doing over this emperor could have made him very, put him in a very negative energy. I feel like they were doing witchcraft over this man for them, for him to continue to pay them or to make sure that this person paid them. They lied. They were doing it. They lied too. I feel like they, they, they were lying about who they were because it's their ways that got them caught up as well. I, a lot of this is karma. And so here we go. Okay, so let's say that they were already like this, this, this. Okay, so they, they, this, this contract, this agreement to do this traveling job is what I'm hearing, was canceled. They, they're doing a U-turn. The Eight of Cups. They don't want to walk away, but they're being blocked. They can't. Seven of Wands. This emperor is not playing. I'm gonna keep these out. They've already made another decision to go with somebody else. Yeah, they they security secure four pinnacles. They already made a decision to go with somebody else, a queen of cups energy. And they're firm on this with the four pinnacles. They're not letting go of this. I want to say that they're not, they've already secured the spot. The spot's already been secured by this Queen of Cups, Four of Pentacles here. Whoever this Emperor is, uh, you know, is really sees this Queen of Cups as a good option, a good choice. This was the choice that was made. Could also be a love choice as well. They are coming out together. And I'm not, it, it, and it really doesn't have to be uh, like love choice, like, uh, but they're a match for each other. Just a good match, a good, a better fit than these three people. A matter of fact, what I'm hearing is that there could actually be two different people. Maybe a couple, a couple that uh, is now hired to do this job. A king and queen of cups have been secured for this position over these three people or this group of people that uh, were doing the witchcraft. People are so fucking weird. <laughs> this shit's hilarious to me. Yeah, that's the end of it. Ten of Swords. That's the ending. That's is that's that's what it is. That's what that's what ended this. This person has made up their mind. This emperor, and that's the end of it. The Ten of Swords here, and so we got the Six of Swords in the reverse. Six of Swords to the Nine of Swords to the uh, Six of Cups in the reverse. It's because of whatever these people. What it's like uh, again. It's like. The past coming back to bite people. Final message here. Final message for the collective. Ooh, what is this? The fool. Clarify the fool. Somebody could play the guitar.
to the tower in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the reverse again to the sun in the reverse. It's okay. So with the full to the tower in the reverse, it's what I'm picking up on is like with the page of Pentacles to the sun in the reverse to the seven. This, they, they were doing a lot behind the scenes to stop this tower. They already knew. Uh, page of Pentacles. They, it's about an offer or, you know, something like that. They knew they knew they, they were trying to. Page of Pentacles, tower and page of Pentacles in the reverse. They, they were they've been they've been doing things behind the scenes, foolishly doing things behind the scenes to stop an offer for coming for this couple. Throwing up a lot of illusions as well, working against these people, eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Because to eliminate the competition, five of wands. Yeah. So they so they so they went to a practitioner. They spent a lot of money on a practitioner as well. They went broke doing this. I feel like they went broke doing this because they thought that that would be the secure way to get this bag. But they didn't get the bag, okay? Final message. I'm starting to get irritated with these people. 33 on the clock. Nine of Cups. To justice there we go scales are being balanced out okay for this empress okay so this empress energy gets a brand new beginning gets to move forward okay this is going to be somebody's wish fulfillment or you know i'm still I, I, so it could be a couple doing this new job or this emperor could really see you as their love choice so these people could have, we've heard about this, these people coming up against one, one person. Uh, I feel like there's just been a group of these people doing this to, a, to, to very specific people. So, you know, you could, you could be picking up or intuitively kind of picking up because you are the empress out here and you are the queen of cups. You could be intuitively, I mean, you may know about this job. You could have already applied for it. So maybe you've already applied for this job. You haven't heard anything back. Uh, maybe they even turned you down. Well, if they turned you down before, it was because these people were paying for, you know, magic to 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 uh, alter or to uh, manipulate the outcome of a decision. But the scales are going to be balanced out for you. And, and, you know, again, here we go with justice again. This comes out. This could happen for you during this season uh, where you where you get a, you know, brand new passionate beginning here with the Ace of Wands. You get they're going to move forward with this job. I also feel I do feel like that this emperor uh, sees you as their wish fulfillment or their their their, their primary love choice. Now the fact that this emperor um, was in the reverse, it could really just be that this person is an asshole on the job, <laughs> is an asshole of a boss. Uh, this also could just very well mean that this person uh, was under some type of witchcraft to maybe not to be not so good of a good boss. Uh, you know, witchcraft can put people in a negative vibration. Negative frequency, you know what I'm saying? The negative frequency to set off a negative vibration. Yeah, girlfriend. This person sees you as their girlfriend. All right? Someone wants to be your girlfriend. Or you might want, this person sees you as their girlfriend, okay? Sagittarius could also be very significant. Boss daddy, my boss mama. Y'all are going to be working together. Okay? We got we can get away behind that. So, whatever the, that means, Okay? Bodyguard, this person will be protecting you or this job is protected. You could hear something about this this job offer by this weekend. That's what I heard. The job is protected. This person may even want y'all to move in together, but I think that that's, I don't know. Libra, again, balancing the scales out. So this is going to be, this is going to balance out the scales for you here. All right. This could also be same sex. What's the big deal? Okay. I don't know. Take the energy as it resonates. Somebody that maybe once ghosted you. Yeah, they ghosted you. Yeah, and it was the end of the road here. They, there could have been some type of communication about this job offer um, in the past. And maybe they just ghosted you. And, you know, because this, this card talks about the end of the road. This talks about separation, divorce. So maybe there was some type of communication in the past between you and this emperor about this job. 
um, and you just didn't hear anything back. Well, they're coming back around. They were just, they were being manipulated. There was some type of witchcraft here, okay? And savage. Check out the other deck. <laughs> uh, we got 10, 11 on the clock. That's one, one, one. Breaks down to a three. Body, mind, and, body, mind, and soul. Body, mind, and spirit. Uh, cycle of life. Yeah, one door closes, another one opens is what I just heard. So this this is about, this is you're going to hear something about a new job offer here, okay? All right, so that's the end of this message. I'm closing out the reading. Uh, if, you, if you want to, uh, well, do me a favor, go register for my uh, Shopify shop. The link for that is in the description box below this video. Um, go over there and register. Take a, take a look at some of the t-shirts that I have over there. I'm still building the store. So any purchases made, I do appreciate okay um, you can also find my oracle decks over there as well uh, i will be posting something soon here for the 12 12 uh bringing us into balance readings where you'll get uh three cards plus an oracle card uh, to just to kind of give you some you know what spirit you know what the universe wants you to know uh, what you might need some guidance on to bring you back into balance because i do kind of feel like things have been so off balance in the collective energy with all this spiritual warfare that it is necessary for us to just kind of get a little bit of guy, you know, if that's something that you're into. All right. All right, y'all. That's the end of the, these. I'm telling you, I, be, I exert a lot of energy doing these readings. Whew. All right, y'all. That's the end of this message. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back later. All right. Hopefully, I, maybe if I shave, I feel a little bit better and cut my hair, huh? Yikes. All right. That's the end of this. I'm out. I love you. To the moon and back. Deuces. Savage.